Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we take a trip to California where we find a sovereign citizen who was pulled over for incorrect window tinting, which then escalates to no registration and no insurance, followed by an arrest and his car ending up in the impound. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. Um, is that, uh, is that a reason to stop me though? Yeah, it's a detention. It's, it's a what? It's a violation. It's a detention. A detention? Yes, it's an infraction. It happens in the windows. Infraction. Okay. But, uh, so I'm not operating in commerce. You're what? I'm not operating in commerce. I don't drive. I'm not using my vehicle for commercial use. So it's, what is, what uh, well, understand. that's, it's the law. The law is that if I'm operating, if I'm operating in commerce, then, you know, you can pull me over for these infractions and pull me and stop me, but I'm not, and I'm a private, I'm, this is a private property, I'm technically not a driver, I'm a traveler. Oh my goodness, here comes the trafficking definitions on cue. Never mind that they have legal definitions that vary depending on the context. As in trafficking, in this case, meaning to haul goods, or the other legal term, traffic laws, that govern the rules of the road. This is not considered a motor vehicle because it's my Do private you property. Have a with you? Uh, I, I don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that? No. You have to identify yourself? I, I don't. If, I, if, if you can't tell me a crime that I've committed, I did. That's not a crime. There's no injured party. There's no. What's that? There's no crime, so it's no injured party. It's an infraction. You're detained for that. Uh, I'm detained for an infraction. Yeah, That's for tinted windows. Tinted windows is not a crime. There's it no. Is. There's no. Six seven zero eight of the California vehicle codes, statutes, and city ordinance are okay. are not law. Listen. Oh boy, we got a real dumb one here today. Statutes, codes, and ordinances are the very definition of what law is, you moron. If you would read anything else than a sovereign citizen pamphlet and stick your head into actual books, then you would realize that you have been living in a complete fantasy world and that you need to come live with us here on planet Earth. No, no, you listen. I'd like to speak to your supervisor then. If you don't know the law, I can show you. I can show you the law where it says that I'm not bound to to your statutes, codes, and ordinances. Why is that? Because I'm not operating in commerce and I'm not a federal government employee. You're what? I'm not a federal government employee and I'm not operating in commerce. Correct. What does operating in commerce mean? That means I'm using my vehicle for hire. I'm not. Using your vehicle for hire. I am not using my vehicle for hire. That is operating in commerce. I don't know where you're going with this. I stopped you for tinted windows. That's it. Understood, okay? but I don't. And I need your ID so I can give you a citation. But that's not a, a valid that's reason. That's not a valid reason? No. It's not. Because, there, because a crime is committing a... There has to be a, a living injured party. Basically, I've had to have hurt somebody physically or financially no. with malicious intent for a crime to be present. I wonder who you got your legal advice from because... It is very much flawed. In fact, crimes can be something as simple as a minor traffic violation, which you have committed based upon the uh, tent on the window. That's not how it An infraction works. is not a crime. An infraction is a detention, which I'm detaining you. I'm not An infraction is not a detention. You, you are you're falsely detaining me right now. Falsely detaining you? Yes. Falsely. How? Because you don't have the jurisdiction to pull me over. Don't have the jurisdiction to pull you over? No. Because, How's that? Because. Would you tell him to stop touching my, my property, please? What's that? He, he's. What is he doing? He's shining. He's touching my window and his hands are all over my car. But I. I, I can sir? show you. I can show you the law book. License, registration, and insurance. I, I do not have to show you that, sir. You don't have to show me that? No. I, I, can you call a supervisor? Can I get I your name and badge number? Ortega, 2980. 2980 Ortega. Okay. Uh, can I get your supervisor? Yeah, we. I can call my supervisor. Please, you, but I need you to identify yourself. Uh, when you, I'll do that with your supervisor. Why is that? Because because you're you you're. you're tell you the exact what's, same thing I'm telling you. Well, if he doesn't know the law, I can show you the law, but you probably won't want to see it. I have the Black's Law Dictionary with me, yeah, where what? the Black's Law Dictionary. The Black's Law Dictionary. Yeah, do you know what, what that, that is? 
You don't know what that is? I don't know what that is. Okay, it's it's the definitions in the English language that the courts use. Okay. Um, because the one the English language that you and I know is is not te- technically what. Jeez, no wonder you guys keep on losing in court if you're buying garbage like this. I stopped you for your tinted windows, okay? That's no, an that's not okay though because it's not your not job okay? to. Go- no, it's not your job to do that. Your it's job is job to. to do that? No, because you're not upholding the Constitution. That is your job. That's what I'm saying. Huh? Sir, <laughs> I just need your ID you, so I can identify so I can identify who you are and give you a citation. I, I cannot I cannot furnish my ID for you. If you don't give me your ID. No. You potentially be taken to jail. Potentially be taken to jail, and that is, that will be an unlawful arrest. How is that? One the penal code. There's I, I just told you codes. Codes is like the lowest form of that- of codes is the lowest form. I can't hear you. Codes and statutes and ordinance are trumped by the constitution the supreme law of the land is the constitution i have a right to travel it's unalienable yes the constitution is the supreme law of the land but the constitution doesn't cover everything which is why there's the 10th amendment within the constitution which gives the states the right to create laws that are not covered by it you moron you, I mean, you do have the right to travel. I'm right. not saying you don't. But, but you are impeding my travel with I mean, with your travel? codes that do not pertain to me. They pertain to you. pertain to you. Because I just told you, I'm not a government employee. Because you're not a government employee. And I'm not using my vehicle for hire. It, it, is, it is clearly stated in, in law. And I can show you. I have the law book with me. <laughs> And and it's not that I don't want. To, I mean, this. I get hassled by you guys all the time. I've never all the time. seen you before. I've never seen you either. But I've oh, Sandima right. sheriffs have hassled me. I've right. for for you? for bullshit. Really, it's for things that I'm not doing wrong. I'm not hurting anybody. No one said you're hurting anybody. Okay. I'm stopping you for an infraction. My, t- uh, you're talking about this tent on this window. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the the most minor thing. That that's not even that's not a crime, sir. It's not a crime, but it's an infraction. It's a reason to stop and detain you for that. Uh, it, it's really not, though. It's not. It's not. Okay, no. So Be- because if... Coming, huh? My supervisor's in route. Okay. He's going to ask you to identify yourself as well. Well, I'm going to show him the law then. Okay. And, and, That's fine. And I would like to get my dictionary out of the back of my car. Okay. Okay? You don't have a book on the law. You have a book of definitions about the law. There is a difference, but you're such a gibbering idiot that you fell down the sovereign citizen rabbit hole so deep that you can't see that. Figure all that out after. And you guys should know the law because you guys are, you, you don't though. You I guys, know the law. you don't, no. Okay. I'm sorry, but yeah, but fine. the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land? Yeah, you didn't know that, you swore an oath to it. I know. So, so what do you... This has nothing to do with the traffic stop, okay? I, we, the Constitution has everything to do with any stop that you do. Hold on, though. That's incorrect, sir. That's incorrect? That's incorrect. You, you don't have... You, there's two reasons you can pull somebody over. You should know this. It's your job. A, uh, you, you have had to have had a warrant for my arrest, okay? With my name on it, signed by a judge. A warrant to stop you? With... You need... Yes, you do. Or, or... Uh, you've had to. You have to have a reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. A crime includes an injured party, a living injured party that I would have Those to. Those are reasons to stop. They're not because there's no injured party. Who would I face in court? Who's my accuser? The state can't be an accuser. You can't be an accuser because you're 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 a I'm government employee. You, of a crime. you are with the tinted windows. You said is a crime. It's. it's you said it was a crime a minute ago. Okay, so an infraction. That is, there's still no injured party. That doesn't matter. Yes, it does. I really hate this no victim, no crime argument that these sobtards have. By sovereign cis logic, we should just fly by stop signs and traffic lights as if they didn't exist. Well now, let's just imagine how the roads would look after that starts happening. They'd probably look worse than the Bosra Road of Death from the first Gulf War. Do you know that the definition of a motor vehicle is somebody that is operating any vessel that is used for commerce, for commercial purposes? For what? 
commercial purposes. Commercial purposes? Commerce. For hire. If I'm transporting passengers or if I'm transporting um, cargo okay. on the clock, then you have a right to because then I'm under... Pull you over while you're on the clock. If you did, then you would have a righteous reason to do so. So right now I don't have a righteous No, because you're out of jurisdiction. I'm out of jurisdiction? Correct. What's, what is jurisdiction? Juris you? Jurisdiction is your right to uh, impede my travel with, with you know... Uh, I'm impeding your, your travel? You are, sir. Well, Absolutely. And I'm, and I'm... It's the truth. I don't know why I always have to go through this. I mean, I'm... <laughs> You know, my life has been completely miserable sorry, since no, COVID, and everything that's gone on has been unconstitutional. It has been against my rights. I I consent to nothing. I I reserve all my rights, okay. and and I still get hassled by you guys. And you guys are not doing your job. Your job is to uphold the Constitution, not to harass me. A traveler, I'm a traveler, and I'm minding my business, and I'm doing everything by the book. And I, I, it sucks that you guys don't know the law, because it's. Are you I, I can prove it to you, sir. What's that? I can prove it to you. You can prove it to me. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and, and I wish you guys wouldn't do this, because you know there. I don't know what you think about you know if, that you have immunity or something to to not be upholding the Constitution. That's what you swore an oath to. You're committing treason right now. Um, no, here's a part of the Constitution I bet you haven't read either. Article 3, Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution clearly states this. Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. And here's a bonus for you, a little video I found about the last person to be charged with treason in the United States. So enjoy this little clip. Walk that a treason case led to a Supreme Court decision that dual citizenship does not offer protection from treason charges. Tomoya Kawakata was born in California to Japanese parents, thus automatically being a United States citizen by virtue of his place of birth, and Japanese because of his parents' citizenship. He completed his schooling through high school in California before going to Japan with his father in 1939. He was still in Japan when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, and during the war Kawakata worked as an interpreter at a metal processing facility which used prisoners of war as forced labor. When the war ended Kawakata returned to the United States, claiming that his actions during the war were likewise forced upon him by the Japanese government. In Los Angeles, Kawakata was recognized by a former POW and arrested, charged with multiple counts of treason based on the abuse of American prisoners. He was convicted on eight of the 13 counts against him, and his appeals were based on his argument that he did not know he was still an American citizen when he participated in the abuse of prisoners of war, under a death sentence, the appellate court rejected his appeal and the case moved to the Supreme Court. In June 1952 the Supreme Court upheld the conviction and the death sentence, finding that as an American citizen who did not formally renounce his citizenship he owed fealty and loyalty to the United States, no matter where he was in the world. The following year President Eisenhower commuted the sentence to life in prison, and in 1963 President Kennedy, a veteran of the Pacific War ordered his release from prison and his banishment from the United States. Kawakata returned to Japan. Correct, sir. Treason. That that is where you're you're okay. you've been warned, Everybody you've been told, up, okay? and you are you, okay. Uh, explain to him what's going on. And what's your supervisor's name? Who's coming, Rasmussen? Sergeant Rasmussen. 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 I, I hate doing this, you know, but it, it's just, it's, there's no reason for you guys to, to, to keep doing this. I'm losing my time. I'm supposed to be meeting somebody right now, a girl, and now, and I'm already kind of late, and this is just making it worse. Yeah. And it's a, it's a criminal violation of my rights. It's a criminal violation of your rights. Absolutely. You guys are, you guys, when you put some, when you arrest somebody, which I am under arrest right now, because I am, I am under arrest because I'm not free to go, am I? Am I? That's a, 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 a no. There is not. 
detainment. Arrest is a detainment. No, it's not. Anytime I am held against my will, not able to leave, I am under arrest. I am arrest. Not true. I can def I can show you those definitions as well. The word arrest is used in the definition detainment, and it even says it. it What's the difference between detain, detention, and an arrest? Uh, the color of law and legal. Well, basically, admiralty is is the law of the water. And that is what your detainment word comes from, is used in admiralty law, which I am not under admiralty law. I'm a common law traveler with unalienable rights. And, and I do not have to surrender identification to something like this. This is not a crime. It's not a crime. No. It, it, exactly. It's not. I am under arrest. I can show you the definitions of detainment and arrest as well. I can show you the definitions of detainment and arrest as well. And you'll see that it is the same thing. I've studied this several times, and I have a problem with this every time I run into somebody under you in a uniform. Yep. They tell you there's a difference between detention and arrest. They tell me I'm detained. I say I'm under arrest, and I am under arrest if I'm not free to go. If you're not free to go, that means you're detained. I am not free to go. It means I'm under arrest. You're not under arrest. Yes, I am. If I were to leave, you would chase me, and you, I would, you, I would risk you physical. You're detained. Bec <laughs> you're holding me against my will. I'm not holding you against your will. Then I can you're leave. Detained. I can leave. No, you cannot leave. Then you're holding me against my will because my will says I want to leave and not be okay. under your arrest. My supervisor's here. Okay. Okay. You know, for the sake of my sanity, I'm going to skip ahead to when the uh, supervisor finally comes and gives him two options after hearing his stupid little arguments. Many unbearable hours later. My officer here has legally detained you. He has not legally detained me. That is not true. I told him I do not. You're mislabeling me. So I, I'm not operating in commerce. Yes, so he's going to issue a ticket. But that's not so, fair. Well, that's what he's going to do. So now you have two re you have two things you can do. You can either give him your license so he can issue you a ticket and you can be on your way, or you go to jail with us. That's not that's not law, sir. That's just, that's You're, can I get your badge number and name, please? I don't I don't write the laws. I don't. Create I understand, them. and you don't know them either. Them. Do you know what the Black's Law Dictionary is? Okay. Sir? Look, sir, I'm not going to sit here. So why don't you want to answer my questions? You work for me. I don't work for you. I don't work for you. You work for me. Hey, hey, listen. Oh, I have to yell because of this. All right. Yeah. This is what's going to happen. Either give them your identification. Okay. You're going to so give me like, your badge number and your yeah, name. You can have all that. I promise. Okay. What is it? Okay. Can you tell Rasmussen. me? Badge Ras number 2600. 2600 Rasmussen. Okay. So either give me your license. Okay. So we can issue your ticket and send you on your way. Uh-huh. Or we'll have to take you to jail because you're not identifying yourself. Um, and you're prolonging our investigation. I'm not prolonging an investigation. You guys have criminally pulled me over. Now you're in violation of Penal Code 148. There's no code, sir. There's no code pertaining to me. You guys should know what so, law applies to who. Those codes apply to you, not to me. Right. Time out. Can you listen to me for a second? Because these are my rights being infringed. You guys are two people committing treason. You know what the punishment for treason is? You may, okay. I know, I know what you've asked me, but you are not understanding me. I need your license, registration, and Stop. So I'll give you a I need to explain myself to your supervisor, and I'll get back with you. But I have a black. Do you know what a Black's Law Dictionary is? Do you know what the 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 law, the legal words they use in court? Look, you've been to court, right? Yeah, I've been to court many times. So you know okay. about the the but the Black's Law. What are we doing here? I'm trying to prove to you that you're wrong, and, and I want to show so you. You're trying to prove me that we can't make any traffic stops out here. I didn't say any. We know somebody has a warrant. That sounds ridiculous. Or, I gave you two reasons, not just okay. the one. So, so somebody's driving around, and, and they're running red lights. Correct. Okay. Who's and the injured cool. party? They're good to go. Who's the injured party? They're good to go, right? Sir, who's the injured party? I if, if I'm being punished for a crime. I have the right so, to face my accuser, so, hold on. living. If you're running red lights, we don't have any right to pull you over. Me personally, I don't do that, but... Tell me, yes or no? No. No. So you can just run whatever... I don't you do that. Put everyone in danger. I, no, I don't do that. Totally fine. I don't do that. But technically, where there's no injured party... Somebody has to be injured for it to be a crime. Physically or financially, and I would have to have done it with malicious intent. Malice. And if not... Then I am not under. Okay, I'm, are you gonna identify yourself, sir? This sounds ridiculous, man. Oh, gotta love this. The supervisor is gonna continue to call him out on all his sovereign citizen garbage.
Because he knows it's just that, a load of garbage. I know what it sounds like to you guys, but you guys are, you guys actually so, work so for, you can go around here and shoot guns off no, 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 that's, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. Shooting guns is different because your bullets Why? Why are going because the bullet is going to hurt somebody or, you know or it's going to hurt somebody's property. An injured party. Same with running a red yes. Light. Nobody's injured yet, but the reason you can't run red lights is so nobody gets injured. But your codes, they don't apply to me. But we're, we're past this. Okay. How are we past this? License, I can't go to jail. That's, that's your two options. That's not, okay, that's I treason. Why won't, why won't you? Listen, why, are you going to give me your license? Okay, I'm talking to your supervisor, I'm please. Talking to you. I'm talking to your supervisor, okay? okay? You've called him down here. Let me talk to your supervisor. Are you going to give me your license? I'm not talking to you right now. I'm talking okay. to your supervisor. Right. Come on, dude. I'm going to have you step out, okay? Can I, can I show you? I'm going to have you step out of the car. You can't touch my property. Step out of the car. You cannot touch my property. You're going to step out of the car. Okay? Past that point. Step out of the car first. I'm going to give you my license under duress. Step out of the car. Under duress. Under duress, you're giving your license. Okay. Yeah. Can you have him stand down? Because he's, he's violating my rights. Look, just give him your license. I, I, I will. Insurance. Like I said, okay. under arrest. That's it. Under arrest. Uh, under duress. Fine. That's fine. Give him your stuff. So it is now, after 20 minutes, that he produces his license, finally. And then we find out that he doesn't have any registration or insurance, and he's actually living in the car, or as he likes to call it, his vessel. Here we go again. I don't want to go to jail because I've done nothing wrong. I have not committed any crime. And you know, I've lost my, my job from the COVID shit and not wearing a mask because I don't want to deprive my... And since then... I've had my rights violated oh, by you guys, way, okay? and and you are committing treason, and okay. and I'm going to have to file a claim if That's you know, fine. this is terrible. Okay. This is terrible. You can go ahead and file a complaint. And and I am a commercial driver when I'm on the clock, but I don't have a job right now. Okay. So your ticket's gonna. That's fine. You know I'm. Gonna, can I have your uh, insurance. Uh, I don't have it on me. I don't think. You don't have insurance. I have. Your I don't know. This. No, I don't. I, I don't lawfully have to have it. You don't lawfully have to have it? No, that? sir. Okay. I can't see it. No, it's not that I, you can't see it. It's, I, it's what's covered with sticker? Oh, VIN. the VIN. <sighs> Can uh, You guys won't look at it anyway, so, I mean, I guess, I don't know what you want me to do. My vehicle... Is my private property. You got your registration, sir? I, I don't know. I, I don't, I didn't pay the registration because I'm, by law I'm not, I don't have to because I'm not, <laughs> I wish you guys would, would know the laws. It, it's, it's in the, you know the law, sir. You don't. It's on, it's in the constitution. Under what the right, specifically is in the constitution. The right to travel, sir, in my private property. And I'm not operating my vehicle on, in oh, commerce. On public highway, sir. The, it, for the public, right, and I and I have the right. You have the registration, sir. I'm sorry. I I can look for it. Yes, I live out of my car. This is my home. I'm homeless. Okay, because so, you don't have license plates on your car. How can I identify what vehicle? I I don't. Belongs to? What if it's stolen? How do I know that? It's not stolen. It's mine because it's my private property. A registration isn't going to tell you if it's stolen. Well, if you registered it with the DMV, it'll tell us who it was. Well, I don't have to register with the DMV, is what I'm saying. So if you're going to drive it on a on a public. Highway. That's not true. The public highways are for everyone to use, and it can be even a stagecoach on a public highway. I can show you that. If you guys would just read the law. I have the book right here. I have the Black's Law Dictionary right here to find everything. We need, we need to identify the vehicle as well, too, right? Why is that? This is my private property. You're on a public highway. I, I just told you. <laughs> That's not the law. The law, your, your yeah, codes, law. the codes, statutes, and ordinances only apply to those operating in commerce. I don't know how many times i got to say it. That's the truth. Look it up. It, it, oh my God! I it, it I've, I've read it several times. You read it? Yeah, and it's there's even case you law. Google? Federal coos. No, I don't use Google. That's not fact checking. I it's federal case law. If you look up Rodriguez versus Ray Donovan, okay. it clearly states it in the case law. What it's federal. It? That's federal case law. What does it say? It states that uh, all, uh, a a motor vehicle is someone who's using their vehicle to uh, transport passengers or cargo, and 
and uh, that is. Do you have your registration on you? On on me, I I would have to look for it. I live out of my car. This is my house. Okay, I understand that this is your house, but I need your registration. I I don't. Okay. I think your van's covered here. Yeah, because I don't want the, you guys to steal my vehicle, my house. No one's gonna steal your vehicle or house. If if you yeah. guys you I mean, but you, you guys don't. Have your registration on you. You go. You don't know the law though. And you won't let me show you. Past that point. We are yeah. not past that point sure. because I don't consent to this. Need you need my consent. consent. You need my consent to do this. You guys are. I, need, I don't need your consent. Sir, you need my consent. Oh, my this goodness, is bullshit. Dude. I, I, you guys, I you're making my life terrible over tinted windows. Come on. And no license you have no license plate? Big deal. Like I don't have to have a license plate. Field. This is all just little infractions. I'm, I'm, I'm broke. I have no money. Sorry, okay? That's, but that's, that. I mean, I need registration. I need, I was to told if I gave you my license, you were going to write me a ticket and I was free to yeah. go. Yeah. Now that changes. Now you need more. Now you need more. Oh, what? Well, this is where the video ends abruptly, anyway. But apparently, he was definitely charged with, uh, Tinted windows, no registration, or uh, insurance. But I suspect that he might have been arrested because the video did end abruptly. So you never know, really.